Hey guys, my name is Ismaus, and today I want to show you how to do a car burnout, tire burnout in Blender 2.8. So this is uh, some of the results I've managed to achieve. Uh, you can see here we have uh, the car drifting and uh, causing a burnout. I only did one tire because I wanted to have the simulation uh, run fast, but uh, you can see different angles and uh, just the smoke itself. I should have done one with uh, just the tire and the uh, smoke, but. Uh, Basically, this is what we have. So let's talk about the setup. Again, you can watch the time lapse on my second channel, Blender Money, if you want to watch that. So the, the setup is very simple. I have, let me just make sure that I'm showing you everything here. Well, this, the cast is uh, very simple. You just animate it the way you want, uh, drifting. And uh, then I have this uh, tire, uh, or proxy tire here, uh, which is basically the emitter of the smoke. And uh, what it does, let me just, uh, first make sure that I'm uh, viewing this this full solid uh, version so uh, it's just emitting uh, the particles let me just so so make sure that I'm showing those uh, we have the particles here and as this spins it's also emitting the particles and uh, the particles get some initial velocity uh, from the uh, from the angular momentum of the or the spinning of the ball uh, because I have I have set have given the particles an objective velocity so that means that uh, the rotation of the ball uh, will be transferred uh, to the velocity of the particles themselves and this is important otherwise uh, the particles will just fall at uh, due to gravity uh, so will the smoke uh, the small the smoke because it's lighter than the particles it will just rise up straight uh, you want to have that object velocity so that that spin of the, the wheel is transferred into the velocity of the particles so yeah, that's what I did. Uh, the, the other settings are very, very basic. Just use enough particles here. I, I reduced the lifetime because I didn't want the particles to emit too much smoke. Uh, so I, re I reduced the, the lifetime there. And uh, the other setting I touched, I don't think I touched anything else. Let's see the, no, no, nothing really. That's it for the most part. Yeah, uh, that's for the particle system. And uh, because I didn't want the particles, I don't know if I use the vertex group here. Yeah, vertex groups, yeah, I did. I did use a vertex group. But I don't think it does matter that much. Uh, so I didn't want. I didn't want. Uh, actually, I didn't want the, the faces on this side uh, to emit any particles. But uh, it seems I included them, so it doesn't really matter that much anyway. So, yeah. So then, from there. I give this a particle, sorry, a, a fluid uh, system uh, with a type of flow, a uh, smoke uh, type flow source is a particle system, particle settings are to use the particles we have just set up. And I give this an initial velocity of two uh, so that the, the velocity from the particles is also transferred to the smoke because the smoke, the smoke is emitted uh, using the particle system. As you can see, we have that set as the source, the flow source. And uh, I want the, the smoke also to have the same spin as uh, the particles, the same uh, that spin from the spin from of the wheel to be transferred to the smoke itself. That's why I'm increasing uh, the initial velocity here so that it gets that initial push. Uh, then, uh, because I didn't want the smoke to go through uh, this frame, I wanted it to bounce off this. I, I made sure that uh, I give this a fluid effector. Uh, of type collision so that the smoke collides with this and doesn't go through uh, it. So you might see that some of it is going through. Uh, that's because of the resolution of the smoke I've set. Uh, the lower the resolution, the, the, the higher the resolution, uh, the less uh, intersection, intersecting of the smoke with, uh, with this collider object uh, will happen. And uh, because, I also, because these particles are the source of the smoke, I also made sure that uh, this object here, uh, or the car itself, has a collision, a collision uh, property. I remember this fluid effector collision type only affects the smoke. So because the particles are what generate uh, the smoke, you don't want these particles to go inside uh, the car. I'm seeing some of them are going through. Uh, actually, maybe not. But uh, yeah, you don't want them to. You don't, you also want these particles to collide with the car so that they don't intersect or enter into the insides of the car uh, which will emit 
which will have those particles emit a smoke inside the car. So you want also these particles to collide with the car by giving the car a collision property and you want the smoke to collide with the car by giving it a fluid, by giving the, the, uh, the fluid, uh, sorry, the car body, a fluid type of effector and collision. I also gave it this planar uh, setting uh, because when you move your cursor over it, you get this uh, help text uh, to treat, make, telling Blender to treat this object as a non-closed object. Uh, since I have a few areas of this uh, mesh non-closed, I made sure to add uh, that. If you look at uh, at uh, first orientation you can see we we see some red parts indicating that we are seeing the insides of this uh, chassis so meaning it's not completely closed uh, this is the setting for that is planner treat this object as non planner or unclosed mesh i think that's what it means i'm not totally sure but uh, it uh, made things look nice so i'm guessing that's uh, the, the right setting for it uh, then from there I, it's just the domain settings here uh, domain type is gas and uh, I think that's the main thing I changed. I also gave this a border bottom collision uh, because uh, instead of using this object here as a collision object uh, for the smoke, uh, it's a collision object for, for these particles because I didn't want these particles to go through this surface uh, to be to start emitting smoke down here. But uh, instead of also giving it a fluid effector collision uh, uh, type, which would increase uh, the computation power because the compute the, the simulation time, uh, because you're adding another object into the simulation. Uh, since this uh, domain object has option for border collisions, I added, I just used the bottom uh, to be a collision surface uh, for this smoke. So when the smoke uh, hits uh, the bottom of this uh, domain, it bounces off uh, like it would on this surface. So uh, then what else? I reduced the buoyance and the heat uh, because I didn't want the smoke to go up too much. And uh, then that's it for the most part. I think that's that's all. Maybe I also turned on adaptive uh, domain. Again, the time lapse will be available on my second channel, Blender Money, if you want to watch that. Let me just play for you are these previews you can see how the smoke is bouncing off the ground and also uh, doesn't go through this car because of uh, its effect collision property and uh, how the spin of the wheel is transferring uh, that, that energy into uh, the smoke you can see what we get yeah so that's it thank you for watching uh, yeah.